Hello, this is Samira Merrick. She is a young artist, and she has learned recently from her teacher uh, to how to draw a cat. Now, there's lots of different ways you can draw a cat. We all know that. But she has a kind of a special way that's kind of fun. So we wanted to show uh, all her little cousins and friends that uh, how she does this. So, Samara, if you would take over, I'm going to stand behind and look over your shoulder to watch you draw. So you can just explain it as we go, okay? Okay. First, you draw a room like this to make a picture frame. Hmm. So, because you want a picture frame. Sure. And then you want to go one, two, where your finger is, and then you want to point like right where that dot, where dot's going to go, and then you go like that. Go in the middle of it, and then you want to magically have a line there, and then put the line right head out there. And you want to connect the lines like this. Hmm. And so then, you want to go knuckle, knuckle down, and then you point again and draw a dot. What was that, knuckle, oh. knuckle down? Yeah, I mean a heart, not a dot. Oh, okay. And then you draw like a, like a oval, but it has points on the corner. Oh, okay. Like that, and then... You draw a dot there and a dot there for the cat's nose. And then you go like that all the way up to that dot. Hmm. And the same thing with this side. Hmm. And oh, and then you want to do the neck. Okay. And then you want to go like that. The same thing as that, but it's like an oval, but with points. Oh, okay. Like it's a little bigger, side. right? Uh -huh, and it's bigger. On the side. Good thing. Then you go like that. Okay. And then you draw that same thing you did there. Okay. Wow. But instead you draw... You can color it in if you want. Yeah. But I usually do, I'm just calling in for now. Okay. And then you want to start here and do one whisker to the frame, two whisker to the frame, three whisker to the frame, and then one whisker to the frame, two whisker to the frame, three whisker to the frame, and you're done. Okay. Like that. That's and cool. And then, um, this is just the cat. That's the neck, the cat face, and this yeah. one. And then like, there's a board above it. So you draw a, rec a rectangle, a triangle, like that. Okay. And then a circle, and a triangle like that. And that's a bird? Yes. And then you want to draw a line like that. Oh, okay. And then I want to draw there for our eye. <laughs> okay. And that's cool. it. Cool. All right, so then now if you've got one, you got that made, you can probably, if you want, you can color it in any colors you want, hey? Yeah. Okay. And then, so is that your is that your favorite way to draw a cat, or do you do other ways too? Uh, that's my favorite way to draw a cat, but there is another way I draw a cat. But this is my favorite. Okay. Now, and, <clears throat> tell me what your teacher says. Does she say go small? She says go big or go home. All right, I like that philosophy. And that applies to art, too, because you can just go big and don't worry about it. what anybody thinks or says. Just have fun and go big, eh? Yeah, I go like big, it. I go home. My teacher, uh, she says at uh, school, go big or go home. And we say go home. And then she says, no, Mrs. Math, we want to say. And then we say at school to do art. <laughs> because we have to see at school, not go home. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you for that lesson, Samara. That was very good. Thanks.